uh, we could even present it. It went out the door. They There's a long time coming, and a lot of the customers know the story of that, but it took a very long time, and then it was poof. Gone. <laughs> gone. Gone. In a blink of an eye, it's finally back. And the customers that did get it, Barbara, did you know it's customer top rated? I did. They, they love it. it. That's they so love nice. it. It's so nice to hear. You know, when you work so hard on something, it's yeah. wonderful to know that. To know how much it's appreciated. It. Um, let me give you a measurement real quick up and down on the p shirt one and five eighths inches in length, then from side to side, one and three eighths inches in width. Uh, you're looking at garnets that are almost half a carat, amethyst, a quarter carat, iolite, uh, 0.15 carat. It's a mint green doublet. You take me through this, Barbara. <laughs> it's smashing. I love it. Well, I think you got through all of the beautiful gemstones. The story behind this, I have a, a lovely customer who has a son who suffers with autism. Mm -hmm. And she has a very special connection to the Luna Moth. And I, it's a very interesting creature. It really does not have the sensory perception that it should. And it really acts on instinct more than anything oh. else, which is... And this is my knowledge of it. I'm not an entomologist, yeah, but yeah. Um, you know that that I think is is such an interesting thing. So I you know I picked stones that deal with intuition, and with, I I just think it's a very magical, beautiful creature. And then when I shouldn't say this, but when I'm challenged with something special or somebody really wants something special, mm -hmm. it means a lot to me. To, and oh. I'm sorry it took so long, but. It meant a lot to me to finish this project and to have it be really special and really gorgeous. So this will always have a really Aww. special feeling, feeling for me. For, and, yeah. uh, um, the, does, is that what drives you, like feeling when you do your jewelry? Or, or is Absolutely. It it's, it's emotional, it's artistic, it's something I see that, and never jewelry. I don't look at jewelry because I don't want to be influenced by other people's jewelry. So. Yeah. Whether it be, you know, anything. I don't know, it could be a fold in clothing, it could be something in nature, it could be something I see in my travels. Mm -hmm. um, I get excited about a feel. I feel like if everyone just keeps making jewelry that's a pretty stone holder, mm -hmm. it all is going to start looking the holder. same. Uh -huh. And why would you collect something if it's sort of all the same? So, I, mm -hmm. and I would get bored. You yeah. know, I need to get excited about each project. So. I find an, an animal or, or something uh, uh, about a stone or, and it's something that draws me in. Mm -hmm. And then once I can get excited and passionate about it, yeah. then hopefully it's something that other people will Oh, you as spark well. us. <laughs> oh, do you ever spark us. And I, I love what you said because um, when I look at your jewelry, when we wear your jewelry, it's like no other. It, it's almost you. like you design and work with with um, blinders on. You're never looking I to your left or your... I do. I, yeah. I, you know, that's a very, it's very, uh, on, much on purpose mm -hmm. because I don't want to be influenced by you know you don't need me to create another whoever's right. piece of joy right. everybody should be doing their own thing and yeah. I think that's it with everything that's what makes the world go around is doing your own thing although two of your pieces I feel like um, it's part of your personal I feel like I'm getting a look into your personal life when yeah, I in look a at way, that sometimes to be honest it's sort of almost too personal it's like you know I'm I I'm a workaholic for sure. Uh -huh. You know, my work, when a sample comes in and it's wrong, I'm upset, mm -hmm. you know, like it, it's very personal to yeah. me, but it's wow. part of it. You know, it's part of the joy of it too. When it comes in beautiful, yeah. it's also personal. So. Oh, that's so true. Let, let's look, let's brag on her a little bit because oh, we've got the reviews at the bottom of the screen. This is what people who have bought this said about it. And remember, it sold out before we could even present it. There it is on your screen. Again, it's J292696. Have always wanted one of Barbara's butterfly enhancers, but now I have a moth. Colors are magnificent, and the design. Anyway, they go they go on and on. There's five star after five star after five star. It is finally back. Um, you notice that we don't get Barbara Bixby here a lot, and it is because she does not churn and burn uh, her products out and just put them out to put them out. It is true artistry, true design, true passion. Like I said, it is a personal, intimate thing. Um, so when we do have Barbara Bixby here, it is very important that if you love a piece, get it. Um, they, yeah, They take quite a while to produce, and obviously the gold is made separately from the silver. There's so much, you know, something, a piece like this is so layered. Um, all, all the stones are special cut. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it looks gorgeous on. Wait, let me move this. There we go. Look at how beautiful. Those colors are magnificent. And this chain is in the show, too which I have totally fallen in love with Thank this chain. You. There's so much that you can do with it. By the way, when you get a piece from Barbara Bixby, 
just put it in your hand for a moment. Touch it, feel it. It has such weight, substance, substance to it. To yeah, it. this you is You could jewelry. go through like all of this work and collect beautiful stones and then make something that's mm. not 